This is the JML screw extractor set that's been advertised widely on TV. Uh, there should have been three extractors in this particular kit, but when I picked it up and got it on, there was actually only two in. Uh, I have done a video on using these before, but uh, I didn't actually put any narration on. So this time I've remade it in high definition. So I've got a selection of screws here that I'm going to screw into this chipboard. Now these are really cheap, poor quality screws. And the problem with cheap, poor quality screws is they're not very good, they tend to snap, and also the head rounds off. Now another reason why the head rounds off is because you don't use the correct bit for it. That's quite a good fit, that one. But some of these will be a bad fit, like that one for example, so that should be pretty easy to round off. Now I have used this before with some success, and it will get out screws that have been put in, and then the head's been damaged. That particular one there that I've just put in has stopped about an inch away from the surface and it's already started to damage the top of the screw which is what we want to do to give it a good test. So I'm going to pop a few screws in here now using this bit that's not a good fit on all the heads and then we'll just see exactly what we can and can't remove. And I am intentionally damaging the heads on these. So we've got four there that are badly damaged. I'm not going to bother trying to damage that one because that looks like a decent quality screw. But these cheap screws here have all got damaged heads now and you'd never be able to get them out. Well you'd be able to get these out obviously because you can put a pair of uh, mole grips on or something. But obviously these here, you, you've no chance of getting them out unless you've got a decent screw extractor. So we're going to test this out now and see if we can get the screws out. So before we get them out we're just going to pop a pair of safety glasses on. So to get them out you need to fasten the bit in the drill and then you need to make sure the drill's in reverse. And then we're just going to apply some pressure and see if we can get it to take the screw out. And I think that's a no. And let's remove that one. And that one's out. Well, let's try the bigger extractor now on that particular screw. So I've put the larger one in now. Again, I'm going to put it in reverse. And you can see there that it's just not going to remove that one. It's just taking the head off it. So we've no chance of getting that one out, but can we get this one out? I think it actually just snapped the head off that one. So, it does work on some screws, but not on all screws. I'll give you a close-up now. I've put the bit in the drill, and I've got the drill in reverse. So I'm just going to push it in there and apply an even pressure, and then press on the trigger. And you can see there that the head on that is completely worn off but it did manage to pull that one out but then again that is only a small screw